Our Distinguished Service Medal is the American Legion's highest award. This year, it is going to an organization that is a longtime friend of the American Legion. They have been our allies and legal representatives in cases that have been heard all the way up to the Supreme Court. President John Adams once said, quote, a constitution of government once changed from freedom can never be restored, unquote. The brilliant legal minds that we are honoring today defend the ability of Americans to live according to one's beliefs, no matter one's faith, ideology, or background, because the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness is not conditional. From defending a high school football coach's right to pray on the field, to winning the landmark Supreme Court case, the American Legion versus the American Humanist Association, the First Liberty Institute has been valiantly fighting in the legal trenches to preserve the intent and true meaning of the First Amendment. As they defended the use of the cross and other symbols on veterans' memorials, they reminded us that the framers of the Constitution believed in protecting religious beliefs, not canceling or removing them. Accepting the award for First Liberty Institute is, is its Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer. He is a former fighter pilot and retired United States Air Force Colonel. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present the American Legion Distinguished Service Medal to First Liberty Institute and its Vice President, David Holmes. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here and to accept on behalf of all of the employees and our CEO, Kelly Shackelford, uh, this, this uh, award. It's with a humble heart that uh, we accept it. And uh, as mentioned, I was a 21-year veteran of the Air Force, aim high, and a, and a fighter pilot. And, and I know full well the value of the American Legion. Um, you help protect some of the most precious attributes of our country, and it's most appreciated. So uh, thank you very, very much. Um, we at First Liberty, for 20 years, have been standing alongside the Legion as we've tried to protect these, uh, these rights. And uh, starting 20 years ago in Mount Soledad, overlooking San Diego Bay, all the way up to just up the road at Bladensburg, Maryland, where we won a, a monumental um, case at the United States Supreme Court. So. Uh, it's with enormous gratitude that we accept this award, and uh, I, I thank you very much from the bottom of our heart. I look forward to working with you in the future. So on behalf of all the, the uh, folks at First Liberty Institute, um, I'd also like to say that as I look at this, uh, the list of people who have received this award in the past, you know, presidents and flag officers, uh, and my combat call sign, you know, was Dallas with a secondary call sign of Cowboy. So I was really tickled to see that the Dallas Care Award cheerleaders had received this award in the past. So that's, that's quite an alliance to be proud of as well. So thank you again very much. And so God bless all of you. Um, God bless our troops and God bless America. Mm -hmm. 